find the dot product. So we're given two vectors and we're asked to find the dot product. So before we do that, you might notice that there's no k here in the second vector v. So we can actually put it there by writing plus 0k. All right, now we can find the dot product. So u dot v, this is equal to, well, all you do is you multiply the corresponding components. So 3 times negative 1. So 3 times negative 1. Then you add 2 times 1. So 2 times 1 plus 4 times 0. So 4 times 0. So this is negative 3 plus 2 plus 0. So negative 3 plus 2, that's equal to negative 1. So the dot product of these two vectors is equal to negative 1. I hope this helps.